Hey everybody, it's Andy aka Max Writer. We are back with another unboxing video. This one's coming from Chaosium Incorporated, Renard, Minnesota. Uh, I think I know what this is. And I have been, I've been actually looking forward to this. Mainly because I, I love different eras. Uh, in Call of Cthulhu, I, I love the, the, the concept of different time periods and that kind of thing. Uh, I probably don't want it for the reason most people want it. Uh, this particular product, if it is what I think it is. Um, but I know I can still use it. Uh, I was going to use it actually for my Halloween game, even though it wouldn't have taken place in the exact place that I believe this is supposed to take place in. It would have been the right time period. Yes! This is Regency Cthulhu Dark Designs in Jane Austen's England. So it's basically Regency period, I believe, Regency period, Call of Cthulhu. And it's been a while since Call of Cthulhu has put out, if I remember correctly, one of these supplements that uh, is basically uh, a different time period than 1920s. Um, I think the last one was Down Darker Trails, if I remember correctly. I could be mistaken on that one. But uh, this is the first new Cthulhu product I've gotten in a little while. And, and there it is. There it is Regency Cthulhu. Let's see what it's got on the back. A lot. Regency England, a time of social niceties, grand balls, romantic intrigues, and disappointments, as described in the novels of Jane Austen. Yet, through the lens of the Cthulhu mythos, horrors weave themselves into the hearts of everyday Georgians, from the richest to the poorest. Step into the Regency era and work to uncover the dark secrets at the heart of the town of Terraford. Twisted horrors that have lain dormant for centuries now seek to burst forth into England. Regency Cthulhu, Dark Designs in Jane Austen's England is a historical sto source book for Call of Cthulhu. Inside you'll find details on the Regency er on Regency era, era England, 1811 to 1820. Ooh, that's not quite the time period, I thought. Uh, rules for creating Regency era investigators along with new uh, period-appropriate skills and occupations, a detailed primer on the fictional town of Terraford for use as a campaign setting in both 1813 and 1913, two scenarios with handouts and maps designed to introduce players to the Regency era, and the mysteries of Terraford. Uh, new rules for character, reputation, and estates, as well as Regency area equipment and weapons. Six pre-generated Call of Cthulhu investigators and six Pulp Cthulhu investigators ready to pick up and play. The, this book is designed to be used with Call of Cthulhu role-playing game and optionally with Pulp Cthulhu supplement, uh, with the Pulp Cthulhu supplement both available separately. And then what is called Cthulhu is Chaosium's role-playing game of mystery and horror set within the world of Cthulhu mythos. Players take on the roles of investigators of the strange, arcane, and unknown regular people making a stand despite the cost to body and soul. Against weird cults, bizarre magic, and otherworldly monsters, only they can save humanity against the world from the, from the terrors. Only they can save humanity and the world from the terrors from beyond. All right, so let's take a quick... Oh, whoops. Ah. Oh. Ooh, smells good. I am not a fan of these these things. I really don't care for them at all. Uh, they just end up getting in my way, and I hate them, to be quite honest. Andrew Peregrim with Lynn Hardy. Andrew Peregrim, Lynn Hardy, and Friends. So let's take a look at this. This is the first, as I said, the first uh, historical, what is it, what did they call this? Uh, historical source book that they've put out uh, in a little while. And there's England, of course. Uh, introduction, the Regency era, Jane Austen's England. Um, uh, the life of Miss Austen. Uh, women in society, romance and courtship, sex and sexuality, consent, race and ethnicity in Regency England. That should be interesting. Um, British currency, weapons and technology, a Georgian timeline. Oh, nice. This goes back to 1714 and runs all the way to 1837. Very cool. Creating the Regency Investigator. Yikes. They really like the tentacles in the... In the <laughs> uh, okay. Regency Occupation List. Nice. New Occupation Skills. Living Standards. Uh, an example of poor etiquette. Cash and assets. Okay, cool. 
Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, now, I liked about Dark Down Darker Trails, the first chapter was character creation, and I feel like it makes it easier to find, and it's right there at the beginning. You don't have to go searching for it. Inviting censure. Uh, the reputation. Reputation is a new... Um, using luck, and here's reputation, which sounds interesting. Your reputation can have a big effect on your social skills. Here's Terryford, or Terryford. Uh, the town of Terryford, population 800. Okay. Several different people in Terryford. And the surrounding area, nice. Sand Lake Farm Fairies, farms and things. Here's more ch characters. Charlton Abbey, the Asher family. This looks interesting. The Long Corridor. So, this is a short center of four to six Regency Cthulhu investigators. The running time of approximately one to two sessions. There you go. Uh, looks like it's you're being invited to a party. Oh, nice. Very nice. I like that. An intrigue. The Dark Realm. Oh, God. What the hell is that? Uh, investigating the North Lakes. Oh, a family tree. That's sweet. Here we've got a timeline. Very cool. Talking to the family. More escalations. This does not look short. There's just a lot here. Hold on. Um, happier and blood will out. Noble sacrifice. Characters and monsters. Yee. And then the other, here's the other scenario. The emptiness within is a longer scenario for four to six Regency investigator, uh, Regency Cthulhu investigators. Uh, it's set in September 1814. Um, you can use the same pregens, provided in Appendix A, as long as they did survive. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't give an estimate on how long it takes to play, but it is longer. So, here's a scenario timeline. Ooh, I like that. Dramatis Personae. That's a neat map. I like that map a lot, actually. Props. I love props. More props. Mythos Manuscripts. Uh, takes. Oh, there's another map of Terraford. Um, south Chamber, West Chamber, East Chamber. Ooh, okay. Night Gaunts are in this one. Uh, spoilers, sorry. Another... Yet another prop. Very cool. And then there's the epilogue. Uh, creatures, night gaunts. Are gone into a... There's a lot of detail there. Here are our pre-generated investigators. Mr. James Bennett. Miss Georgiana. Miss Georgiana Wentworth. Miss Emma Wentworth. Captain John Stone. Reverend Samuel Jennings. And Miss Jane Radcliffe. Uh, equipment tables and miscellanea. Very cool. Regency... Costume glossary. Oh, that's very handy. Uh, weapons, firearms, blunderbuss, musket, pistol, uh, double barrel pistol, rifle, flint like rifle, uh, and a shotgun, fowling piece. Very cool. Oh, they've differentiated. I do like that. Nice. Uh, carriages and chases. Terraford 1913. Uh, so, if the investigators have not permanently solved the issue of the portal at. Oops, okay. Spoilers. North Lake Hall. Um, the Keeper may wish to design their own scenario set 100 years later. That's a cool idea. It's a very cool idea. Terraford has changed a little bit. It's got a population of an extra thousand people. Here are some of the people that you can have involved. And then here are handouts and props and maps. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, I like it. I, I really, I love these historical, uh, what do they call them? Historical source books, which I can't see. Resources and Inspiration by Jane Austen. I don't know if I've read any of her stuff. I've read some writing from that time that I didn't care for, but I don't know if I've actually read Jane Austen. Uh, books on the Regency and Georgian period. Um, films and television websites. Character sheet. Pulp character sheet. And a nice index. And then we've got Andrew Peregrin and Lynn Hardy. Very cool. It looks very nice. I'm looking forward to messing around with this. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. As always, I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all next time.